Hey everybody, Tech Dad here. Okay, here I am with my GSG 110 round drum mag for my Ruger 1022. I uh, got into my head that I wanted to get a drum mag and there are several brands out there. From what I saw, this one carries the most, 110 rounds. That's not the only reason why I bought it. Um, I did see some people on YouTube with shooting videos and they seem to like it and it seems to shoot well so I decided against the other ones that I saw and nothing bad against them because I honestly haven't tried them this is my first drum mag so first impressions it's uh it's plastic but it seems very very sturdy this uh top here where the uh goes into the bottom of the Ruger it's very this is all metal this is like very heavy duty right here one quick point. There are two models of this GSG drum mag. Okay, first of all, GSG. GSG is a German company. They're called German Sports Guns, thus GSG. They are distributed by a company called ATI, American Tactical Imports. Okay, so there are two drums like this. Okay, the first one is for a GSG 522. Basically, GSG has a line of several different Mod 5s, MP5 variants, and they have a drum mag that looks just like this for that. And if you look on their website, there's another model, which is this one, and this one's specifically for the 1022. So if you want to get one of these, make sure wherever you buy it from that it is the one for the Ruger 1022. If you look on a description on a website and it doesn't specify, chances are it's for the GSG 522, not the Ruger 1022. So just be careful on what you order to make sure you order what you want. Okay, I didn't know there was a difference. I almost bought another one and I'm glad I took my time and did some research. So just make sure that you get the right one. Okay, so like I said, this is nice and sturdy uh, construction. Holds 110 rounds. This has, let's see, where do I start? This has a maintenance port here. Okay, this maintenance port is for you to spray oil in there. Now, if you go on the website of GSG, you'll see it says to use, actually, this is the one from American Tactical. It says to use WD-40. If you go on the website of GSG, it says to use Slip 2000, okay? Didn't know what to think. I called up ATI. The guy at customer service said, well, I don't recommend WD-40, but some sort of uh, gun oil slash lubricant. So I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I'm not going to use WD-40. Whatever I am going to use, I'm going to make sure I'm not going to use too much because any oil is going to attract dirt. And the last thing I want is to have to take this whole stupid thing apart and try to put it back together again, okay? Uh, there is a guy on YouTube that uh, recently uploaded a video like that, so I'm, I'm not even gonna go there, okay? This, your lubrication port is only if doing this is too stiff and gets stuck and doesn't feed well or doesn't load well. That means that your spring probably needs a little bit of oil, so you spray in there a little bit. It's one big coil and this, I've already loaded this up twice and emptied it twice and it is very easy to load and very easy to unload especially. So this doesn't stick, I'm not gonna touch it. It's just fine. Now, one unique thing about this, well, I don't know if it's unique, but I didn't know about it until after I bought it. This comes with four windows, like you see here, okay? So let's see if I'm looking at this in the right direction. So, okay, you're gonna load it into the Ruger, okay? So, you load it, you're holding your right hand, and you move this to load your rounds, one at a time, okay? What you'll see here, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, uh, it loads this way, okay? Because you're loading this way, it loads this way. So I'm gonna call this window number one, number two, number three, number four, okay? That's how I'm gonna reference these. When this is empty, okay, before I go on, the follower for the bullets, it shows in here in the instruction manual, 
that the follower is actually a string of fake black bullets. Let me see. Um, right here. Okay. That's the follower. It's a string of fake black bullets, plastic black bullets, um, and it's connected with this um, tab or fabric or, or plastic. Um, and here they reference how you can take off the very top of this, the very the head of this, in case uh, the bullets get jammed. You can take the whole thing off, and you'll have to just basically unscrew unscrew these two. Unscrew these two, this whole thing comes off, and then that follower you just pull out, and then all the bullets can come out. And just be careful when you unload the bullets that way, because as soon as you take this off, this is going to want to unwind real quick. Don't let that happen. Just you know, manually let it come out. So, one thing that I found out after loading this is when this is empty, on window number one, you're going to see one fake bullet. Okay, one fake plastic bullet. That means you're out. So if you have this in your gun and you look quickly to the left, you, you're, you rotate your gun to the left and you look down and you see one black bullet, you're out of bullets. Okay, got to reload. So I didn't know that um, these windows are really good indicators of how many rounds you have in the, in the drum. Okay, what I did know, there are 110 rounds in here. I promise I'm not going to load all 110, just half of them to show you a point. When you load them up, you just rotate this far enough to drop one in. Okay, so that's one. Okay, there's one in there. Okay, as you can see, there's still the one black bullet here. So this is this is two, three, four. I'm just moving it slightly far enough to fit another bullet one at a time because these bullets have to have to line up see now they're starting to show over here I had five let me put five more one two three four Okay, now if you look here, you see that the black bullets are all next to each other. That's a good thing. That tells you that you've loaded this correctly. If you start loading this and you find there's any spaces in here, like let's say you, you didn't see anything here, but you see three and one, or a anything other than this tight group here that you see, you know you did something wrong, you have to start over again. Okay, that was the reason for these to give you an indication if you're loading them correctly but what I found out is that this is also an indicator of how many rounds you have in here okay so right now I have 10 okay let me put five more one two three four five Okay, so that's 15 rounds in here. Okay, now what you'll see is that you now see one bullet here, one real bullet here. So that tells you you have 15 rounds in this magazine. Okay, now as you go around, this will go in tens. Okay, when you see one bullet here in the first window, that means you have 15. When you see one bullet here on window number two, that means you have 25. When you see one bullet here, window number three, that means you have 35 rounds in the, in the drum mag. And then when you see one bullet here on window number four, that means you have 45 bullets in this. And when you see all bullets here through window number four, that means you have 50 rounds in this drum. Okay? So... You don't know how many more you have past 50, because like I said, this holds 110 rounds, okay? But as you're shooting, 
you're going in a match, you're going, you're going to some sort of a st steel challenge, possibly, where it doesn't matter how many rounds you have, and you're going around, and you're shooting, ba 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 and you're in between rounds, you're like, how many did I shoot? How many do I have left? Well, look at the windows, okay? If you have all four windows loaded, okay, again, bullets going facing that way, this is window number one. If you look at window number four, if you see all bullets, you have 50 rounds in there, okay? If you don't see any bullets in here, if you don't see any bullets in, in window number four, you're going to probably see black ones. Look over here to see if you have bullets here, okay? And this will tell you, this will tell you, okay? One, one real bullet here is 45. One real bullet here is 35. One real bullet here is 25. And one real bullet here in window number one is 15. So if you go along and all of a sudden you see one bullet here or you don't see any bullets here, you have less than 15 rounds. Time to switch out the mag. Okay, that is a really neat feature. I did not know it did that, but I figured that out last night when I was loading it. And I think that's pretty awesome. Okay.